Humanized mice. And a way of finding out if you're going to have a heart attack 720 days in advance. Those are just a few of the breakthroughs scientists showed off at BioHK 2024, an international gathering of biotech experts in Hong Kong. And we'll look at some of them shortly. But first, the really big news came in the opening event when speakers noted the sheer number of biotech companies in the Greater Bay Area. Uh, that's Hong Kong and Guangdong. China has 199 science parks, with 111 featuring biotechnology research and development. Of those, 93 are concentrated in the Greater Bay Area. Thus, it appears inevitable that this region will be a biotech centre for the world. Keep in mind that this is not just a collaboration on a GBA level. I believe that you are building here a unique confluence of biomedical research and analytics that not just has the opportunity to serve China, but it also has the opportunity to serve the rest of the world because these are unique components that so few parts of the world have. Businesses agree with him. More than 60 companies have already signed up to participate in the Hong Kong Shenzhen Innovation and Technology Park. Where will the money come from? Well, Hong Kong is already one of the largest global biotech fundraising hubs in the world. So they've got plenty of skill in organising investments. There are large numbers of companies at this event with a great many breakthroughs to show off. Let's look in more detail at a few. First, consider a problem. Before potentially dangerous medical products are used on you or your children, they're tested on mice, as you probably know. But there are a great many differences between rodents and humans. Well, with a few exceptions. So, Chinese scientists are putting specific genes into mice to bridge that gap for specific experiments. These are known as humanized mice. Ming Sella, a firm based in Guangzhou, has developed what it calls turbo mice, which uh, grow super fast and provide genetic material for checking drugs are safe in half the normal development time. Then there's this firm, BSP Medical, which has developed a test that can check if you're likely to have a heart attack 720 days before it happens. Long enough, the theory goes, for you to develop healthy habits to change the future. There were also food labels that change colour when the food goes bad, artificial muscles that detect pollutants in the water, and a phone app that tells you how many calories you had in your lunch and advises you on healthy restaurants near you. These are all fun developments, but there's a serious message behind all this. The proportion of old people in the world is rising fast, and there simply won't be enough money in the system to give people the care they need. So, prevention scientists say, is going to be better than cure. And so I congratulate you, I commend you, and I urge you to continue to move at pace because I think you have a significant contribution to make to the health of the world and to release the economic cost that is going to drag all major developed economies down if the only source of, of health is at late stage disease. It is not economically possible to deliver that. So thank you and good luck on your endeavors. In the last three or four years, China's come on dramatically in in biotech. So five, ten years ago, China was way down the rankings. It was just copying other people, doing a bit of innovation. Now China is doing discovery. It's doing really very creative work. And I was very, very impressed with some of the companies that I visited there. Uh, yeah, I have projects. I've, I've also had some projects in China, but I have mm -hmm. some brilliant projects in China in cancer right now. Mm -hmm where we've taken a, a, a drug that's discovered in China, looks very promising. If you want to listen to what Western politicians and journalists say about China, go right ahead. But also listen to what working people say, scientists and business folk, get the full story. Given the political tensions between China and the West, do you think that is affecting your work? Um, well, yeah, it, it, it has been for years, but this, this whole geopolitical tensions, as, as you call it, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm quite a pragmatic individual, so a lot of people keep talking and politics and meetings, and 
the best way, the, the best way around this is to actually form a partnership with someone mm -hmm. and get on with it. Actually sign your documents, share the intellectual property, trust each other and practically walk the talk and get on with it.